Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I hope you're good where you are, and I hope as well that the blessings of the Lord are upon your life. On this beautiful day, someone might be listening to this as they're beginning their day, so I hope the blessings of the Lord are upon your life as you begin this day, right? And as well, someone might be ending their day, so I hope as well the blessings of the Lord are upon your life as you are ending this day right now today we're going to be moving on to Nehemiah chapter 5 that is where we're going to be getting our context from we're going to be getting our message from the book of Nehemiah chapter 5 and we're going to look at the entire chapter and close it off today so now when you go to Nehemiah chapter 5 we then realize that there was now a king right there was a king who decided to come up against Nehemiah when you heard that Nehemiah and the people that he was building the wall with were now done. And he decided, you know what, I'm going to come up against these people and I am going to make sure that they don't complete it. And he started to send all these kind of threats and start to tell them, you know what, this is what I'm going to do to you. But Nehemiah does not give up on what he was doing. As a matter of fact, he ends up completing the project of building the wall. Now, when they had heard all these things, right, about that he had now completed building the wall, they now said, you know what, come to us, come and meet us. Let us have a conversation. Let us actually talk, man to man. Let us just meet up in a certain place, you know. But Nehemiah, upon hearing this news, he then says, but why do they want to meet up with me? You know what, he then, then perceived to himself that, you know what, these people, they mean no good to me and god reveals to nehemiah that you know what don't go there to these people that want to meet up with you they actually don't mean any good for you right so nehemiah then decides to say you know what i'm not going to take that route and he then decides to to stay back but another interesting point then comes into play one of the people that were part of the camp of nehemiah was then hired by these people that wanted to meet nehemiah out in the open and end up doing some mischief unto him right one of the people is then hired in the camp of nehemiah one of the people is then hired and then is told that you know what tell nehemiah this message and tell him that you know what as you are doing these things or come and meet us in the church so that we can have a conversation and nehemiah upon, upon hearing this message from this person that was a part of his camp he then perceived and said you know what why should i be afraid of the people that are coming up against me and he asked himself this question and says why should i be afraid as a matter of fact i think these people they mean no good to me right and then my ends up saying you know what i perceive that this person means no good for me and that he wants to destroy me and this is what Nehemiah comes up to the conclusion of and he ends up not going to meet up this person because god had revealed to him that you know what this person that is part of your circle this person that is part of your camp this person that is in your parameters this is also your enemy this person has been hired to destroy you right and that is where we are going to get our message from for today. Guys, your enemy is closer than you think. Sometimes we think that most probably all the time we think that, you know what, perhaps my enemies are people that are far. Perhaps my enemies are people that are, you know what, far and beyond. But we realize here in Nehemiah chapter 5 that his enemy as well was part of the people that were part of his camp. And this is the message I want to bring to you today, to, today guys. That remember... Your enemies are close to you. Some of them, may, you might even be sitting on the same table with them. You might even be sharing a meal with them. You might even be having conversation and sharing certain secrets about your life. But then they end up turning out to be your greatest enemy, right? This person was then hired so that he can conspire against Nehemiah. And today I want to tell you guys the message that remember, your enemies are closer than what you think. But it is not for you to then go out against these enemies and start confronting them and start telling them that, you know what, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that you messed up with the wrong person and all of that. No, guys, it is not for you to do that. And the reason why it is not for you to do that, guys, is because it is God who fights for you. It is God who reveals your enemies unto you, right? 
so if you're in a situation as well in your own life where you don't know who your enemies are who your friends are remember there is a god who can show you all these kind of things right all these hidden things it is only god who can show you these things and reveal to you the secret things that happen um in closed doors just like he did for nehemiah right nehemiah was able to be shown that you know what these people they are planning this and this and this type of mischief against you therefore this is how you can combat them and that is what i want you to get guys also if you have enemies remember it is not for you to go up against them and start to confront them and start to say all these kind of things no guys you shouldn't do that but rather the bible says as you meet your enemies guys remember the bible also says love your enemies the bible also says that we should pray for those that persecute us this is what the bible says guys and this is just a message i wanted to bring to you today guys that remember your enemies are closer than you think but it is not for you to then go up against them and start to say you know what this is what you want to do to me and therefore i'm going to confront you for a b c d e and you mention all these kind of things no guys that is not what you should do right but rather remember this is the spiritual war warfare right nehemiah understood this this is why the person that even wanted to betray nehemiah nehemiah did not go up to them and start to say i'm going to make an example of you and i'm going to show everyone that you know what this is what happens when you try to betray me or when you try to go up against me, right? Nehemiah did not do that, right? In chapter 5, we don't find Nehemiah doing that, but rather, he shows us that the message came from God and it was God that revealed to him that, you know what? These are your enemies. And that's just the message I wanted to leave with you today, guys. That even if you find yourself with enemies, those that are close to you, those that you trusted, those that you thought had your best interest at heart, even though you find yourself with enemies, remember, the Bible says, love your enemies. Pray for those that hate you. Pray for those that make, that conspire against you guys. Pray for those that have no best interest at heart for you guys. Pray for them. This is what the Bible says. And remember as well, guys, this is a spiritual warfare. And we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities upon high places so this person might not even be aware that they are being used by principalities and spirits in high places to destroy you right so remember this guys next time when someone comes up against you and find an enemy remember you are not wrestling against them but this is a spiritual warfare there is a spirit behind them that is pushing them to do whatever it is that they are doing therefore it is not for you to hate them but remember to pray for them for there is a spirit that is pushing them towards you and doing all these kind of things to you right and that is just the end of our message for today and remember this guys as you go on about your life just remember guys we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities in high places pray for your enemies pray for those that hate you Pray for those that don't have good intentions towards you. And God will also reveal to you who your true enemies are and who your true friends are. And that is the end of our message for today. May God bless you.